Yes, the pit master is pitonizing on his cell phone. We are cooking a chuck roast, low and slow. Started at eight o'clock this morning, and we are pellet smoking it. I got the probe on both sides of the uh, the chuck roast, giving me a temperature. And I also have it here on my phone, Wi-Fi. I can monitor it in the house, in the car, down the road, anywhere I'm at. I can monitor it, up or lower the temperature, adjust, start, stop, right here on my phone. So anyway, we're all looking at our chops. We're all waiting for the moment. And it's getting close. And I'm getting ready to put a ribeye on there, hopefully to finish it off about the same time that the uh, chuck roast is done. So I got that over here. This pan is letting it warm up a little bit because I had it in the refrigerator. Now, that ribeye is looking mighty good, people. It's got a lot of fat in there. We're gonna stick it on there and see what happens. Now, I'm gonna take one of these out of the roast and uh, put it right in the middle of the steak there. Just stick it in the steak. ribeye on there and I stick a probe in it and I'm just monitoring that but something ain't right because that probe is reading too hot so I gotta readjust that probe. So everything's looking good. We got uh, 300 set on the uh, in the red here. And it says it's about 300 actual. And on the uh, probe A, I set it for uh, about 155. And of course, on the chuck roast, I got it set for 203. However, we may take it off somewhere around 185, 190. This is the hopper where you put the pellets. You can put a full bag of pellets in here between these two divided hoppers and they feed into a worm gear down at the bottom into the center cook box. Yeah, it does kind of smell good, don't it? smoking with the computer and monitors it's pretty much a no-brainer it's easy you stick the meat in there you stick the probes in you if you have the Wi-Fi option you can look monitor it on your phone tonight you can look down here on the monitor on the grill and it tells you what the internal temperature is you cook it pretty much to the internal temperature you like say for instance uh, 145 is about for steak, it's about 145, I believe, medium. And uh, if you wanted, you know, 165 is, you know, probably medium well. And there's different temperatures for different meats. Like we're doing a chuck roast right now, we are 180. Typically around 200 is probably done. So we we may take it off somewhere between 180 and 200. I just checked it with the probe and that agreed so we're getting close on that. <laughs> 